Next up on WTV, how to get prom tickets, cardiac screenings, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, March 25th, and I'm Yael Evan with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Prom tickets are now on sale and Kia Dunlop has the details. With prom coming up on Saturday, April 13th, tickets are now on sale on My Payments Plus. The cost of tickets are $75 per person and will be available until April the 11th. Any students who are a non-Liberty student must be under 21 and fill out the form attached to the My Payments Plus. Along with the sale, there will be a prom hype party in the parking lot during advisory on March 27th. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kia Dunlop. It's never too early to get a heart screening, especially for students who participate in certain extracurricular activities. In an effort to make things easier for Frisco ISD students, there's a cardiac screening tomorrow. WTV's Vihan Gupta has the details. The district is partnering the Cody Stephen Go Big or Go Home Memorial Foundation to screen students with an electrocardiogram, often called an EKG. An EKG is encouraged as it can detect issues in the heart that may not be picked up in a standard physical. For $20, all athletes and students who take part in band, drill team, or cheerleading can get tested. I think the cardiac screening might be helpful as far as getting some baseline information and for possibly uh, looking for maybe some unknown um, heart conditions uh, that may be present on an EKG. Screenings are available from 7.30 to 10.30 tomorrow morning. Reporting for WTV, I'm Vihan Gupta. Showcasing their skills for the community and the rest of the district, the second Frisco Flag Night is tonight. WTV's Isabella Santiago has a story. After many weeks of competitions, both varsity and JV winter guards across the district will be participating in a showcase of their shows at Frisco High School from 6.30 to 9.30. The event creates a more stress-free environment from the usual pressure of a competition. But Frisco Flag Night is just for like anybody that wants to come and there's no competing and it's free and it's everybody's there to support each other so it's kind of like it's more of like a an uplifting kind of performance rather than like oh, I'm competing against these people. With the varsity guard competing Sunday in championships the showcase allows extra experience performing going into the competition. So having another performance under our belt before championships is gonna be very helpful. Being the second flag night of the year the night also allows the guard to show their progress. There's one at the beginning of the year to kind of say like oh here are the different shows that we have and then there's one at the very end of the year like right before championships where it's like this is the product that you like saw at the beginning but this is what it's become. Admission is free. Reporting for WTV, I'm Isabella Santiago. WTV's TJ Kirillix tests students' knowledge about basic college information on today's trivia. Hello and welcome to Wingsman Trivia. I'm your host TJ Kirillix and today we're going to be testing students' knowledge on college. Graduates. A graduate. A graduate. Adults. A freshman. <laughs> no! Oh no, I was thinking high school. Shoot. A bachelor's degree. Oh, a bachelor's? A ba ma master's. Okay. No, no, that's a bachelor's, a bachelor's. A bachelor's. A bachelor's degree. Ooh, uh, I'd say the, the University of Texas. Texas A&M. Collin College. Okay. Wait, no. Uh, UT. A&M. Texas. Definitely Texas Tech. Duke. Villanova. Duke. Villanova. Villanova. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Kurlitz. WTV Sports gives you a look back at the sports from the weekend. The boys and girls soccer teams faced off against Lone Star on Friday. 
The girls defeated the Rangers 2-1 and will take on LeBron Trail tomorrow in a tiebreaker game to determine their spot in the playoffs. The boys look to stop Lone Star from clinching a playoff spot. However, we're not able to do so as they fall to the Rangers 4-1. The softball team looked to take down Wakeland on Friday, but were not able to do so as they fall to the Titans 18-0. The baseball team took on Independence and looked to grab the win, but fell short as they fall to the Knights 3-2. The track and field team competed in the Jesuit Shainer relays this weekend. Sanai Ford placed second for long jump, Kristen Masuji placed second for pole vault, and Nisi Kambango placed first in high jump and second in the 300 hurdles. Reporting for WTV Sports, I'm Surrey Ravachandran. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. WTV's Wake Lover has today's announcements. Starting today, NHS and Moot Alpha Theta will be hosting PurePoint in the library before school, during advisory, and after school to provide math assistance to students. If you are interested in participating in this program, please talk to your math teacher. Prom tickets are now on sale on My Payments Plus. If you are bringing a non-Liberty guest, please fill out the form that is attached to My Payments Plus. All guests must be under 21 years old. Photography Club will be hosting a photography session today in Mr. Ham's room. Everyone is welcome to attend. Please bring your camera if you have one. That's it for today's daily update. This is Yael Evan for Wingspan TV.